78 Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC, Lions Den Box community. For those who don't know, now you know. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe. Also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. If you're digging the video, go ahead and share this joint. All right, y'all, I'm going to play some video, some audio footage for you guys. And you tell me what you guys think about Anthony Joshua. Uh, uh, you know, because in the ring, first of all, in the ring, before he even said what I'm about to play, in the ring after the fight, the uh, one of the announcers or guys who interviewing him was trying to ask Joshua about fighting Deontay Wilder, and Joshua didn't want to commit to it. Joshua um, was trying to get out of the ring and talking about his back hurt and all kind of weird stuff. It's just weird energy, and this is not the first time this has happened with Joshua after his fights. Like he just refuses to try to build a Deontay Wilder clash, and his fans have made excuses for years for this and try to flip it on Deontay Wilder. Uh, but the truth is, I'm all on video for this man, and it's more proof of that now. I'm about to play this. Now, listen as the interviewer asks him directly about Deontay Wilder. This is after the fight. This is not in the ring. This is outside the ring. Just listen to this. You won't. Yeah, well, so Wilder next. Wilder next, Anthony. Uh, it's looking like it. That was a whole. That's a whole media spin. So the, the, the fans and the media dictate what I do, right? So yeah. Conor McGregor, what do you think about? The man says. It looks like it. He said. He says Wilder next. Well, it looks like it. I mean, that's what the the fans and the media spin, right? The fans and the media they dictate what I do, right? Like he was being sarcastic about it. Like, what is that about, dude? The Saudis about to pay you a boatload of money to fight Deontay Wilder. It's the fight that fans have wanted to see for five, six years. What's the problem? Well, longer than I don't know why I keep saying five, six years. Probably going on like eight years. Why? Is it a problem? Why, what, what is the sarcasm about? What is that about? Oh, the fans and the media, that's the spin they put it on it. Uh, they, they dictate what I do. So he's basically saying, like, he, like people are trying to dictate what he has to do next. Right? You got you have an offer to fight Wilder. You have a boatload of money as that for that offer. Wilder going to knock this dude out. I'm telling you. Wilder going to knock Anthony Joshua smooth out, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Joshua just fought Robert Hellenius. Uh Robert Hellenius was the last um, opponent of Deontay Wilder last October. Deontay Wilder put Robert Hellenius to sleep in the first round. Uh, it took Anthony Joshua seven rounds to get rid of him. Um, you know, Joshua still was doing his normal, you know, um, what's become to be normal of Joshua, which is this hesitating and, and not sure of himself type of thing. And he finally listened to Derek James. Derek James told him, um, you know, you need to step into the right hands. You, you say you're throwing the right hand, but you're throwing it from uh, uh, without stepping forward. So you need to step into it. And he finally did it. When Robert Hellenius uh, backed up into the ropes with his hands down, Joshua stepped into it and landed flush on the chin, directly on his chin, put him to sleep. All right. So congratulations to Joshua on that. But, dude, like enough is enough with this, man. Like, you got to stop acting like you're afraid to build up the Wilder fight. Talk a little trash. Uh, say, yeah, I'm coming for you, Wilder. Something, bro. What, what is this What is this? This weird energy from AJ every time it comes to Wilder? Remember when Deontay Wilder went out there to the UK for the Klitschko fight, mm -hmm. AJ versus Klitschko, and um, the UK invited Wilder out there to be a, a commentator, and AJ acted like Wilder wasn't even in the building. It's just weird. Then another time, AJ uh, Wilder was supposed to go over to the UK Sky Sports wanted Wilder to come over and, and commentate again. And Wilder said, you know, I'll do it, you know, because uh, it was an AJ fight. He said, I'll do it, but I want to get in the ring and call out AJ after the fight. So Sky Sports said, cool. AJ shut it down and said, nope, I don't want him coming over. No, we're not doing that. You know what I'm saying? He's not getting, he's not, it's my moment. He's not getting in the ring, blah, blah, blah. Then he started threatening to have security there and stuff. It's just ridiculous, man. Absolutely ridiculous, but it's cool. I just want to see what happens, man. Hopefully, we get the fight. Hopefully, you know, AJ and uh, uh wants this fight because it looks like at the moment Eddie Hearn wants it. We know Team Wilder wants it. Uh, Wilder's team has been talking about this fight all year. Uh, you know, what I'm saying the Saudis got the money for it. It's not something that they got to argue about. The Saudis got enough money for everybody, it's all good. So, so you know, it shouldn't be no problems. The only problem that can get in the way is if Anthony Joshua decides he don't want the Wilder fight, period. That's the only thing that can stop this if he starts magically becoming difficult in, um, you know, in negotiations. That's the only thing that can stop it. 
But y'all let me know what y'all thought of what AJ said. Uh, 78 Sports TV, salute to the mighty LDBC. I'm a pilot here, deuces.